Hey guys, Zaryu here, and today I'm going to bring you some Mage Paladin gameplay versus some Arsham Feral. I don't know why I'm so excited today, but uh, today's a good day, I guess. So positive vibes out to everybody watching. Um, yeah, this game is very, very difficult. The reason why I wanted to post this, I actually have a couple games uh, that I want to show you guys today, but the reason why I posted this is because as a mage in twos, you don't really have too much of a win condition besides going for crazy, crazy, crazy one shots. So I guess that is a win condition, but um, a lot of people will ask me in my stream, you know, how do I win in twos versus Warlock Shaman? How do I win in twos versus, you know, Feral Arsham? You know, how do I win in twos versus this or that? Um, a lot of it isn't down to like a specific, okay, get a sheep and then slowly take out the other guy, kind of like it hasn't been in the past. It's more of this. Um, a huge glacial spike and you know into a hajj um, and to you know ice form shatter combos stuff like that and go for a big one shot onto the healer and against a good like really really you know high rated enemy team a lot of times they're not <laughs> look i was checking out a transmog item there um they're not really gonna let you do that all the time but um you can you can actually get a lot of pretty decent wins because you can do this setup you know like once every minute and then in the meantime you're doing damage anyway and then, then once dampening comes in um you know, you can do pretty well anyway. Um, by the way, just to let you guys know, if you're playing with a pally, make sure to have him go melee wings because you're going to count a lot on his damage, um, especially when dampening gets deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, I think he pretty much always plays melee wings unless you're fighting like a mage team, then you want to play double sack. Um, but yeah, so as you can see here, I'm just casually casting Frostbolts um, onto the Feral, and then I'm going to go for like a Sheep onto the Shaman, go for like a nice setup into like a, a Glacial um, Hammer of Justice for my Pally Ice Worm Shatter Combos. Um, just to let you guys know, I do have a little bit of Shaman gameplay later in this video for you guys, but I did want to upload some Mage gameplay too. And if you guys didn't note yet, I am going for that Warlock T3 on my Mage. Um, kind of doing something a little special I'm not going for the warlock robe but i'm going for like a, a different chest legs belt boots um gloves type of a look so i i just don't like robes in general so here we go for a big setup on the shaman and he actually lives um he gets that wall off and lives very very low hp very sad because i was thinking that was gonna be our win um with that ice form setup uh, another thing to note too that i forgot to mention is we do kill in Blood Elf Silences a lot after the Hajj. Um, I kind of actually want to go Belf just for this reason, uh, just because I play a lot of twos, and it's nice to actually have two two Belfs, two Blood Elf Silences, so you can Hajj into Belf into Belf to, to, to get that kill. But uh, since I'm Orc, I don't have that Belf Silence, but I do have a little bit more damage and stun reduction, so it's kind of a trade-off. I think Orc is generally better for threes, but... In twos, it's so nice to have that belf. And in threes, belf is nice as well. So I've been considering going Blood Elf, but I haven't really wanted to spend the money on the on the race change. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that. But yeah, just just keeping damage up on this Feral. Getting every, Once I get a Sheep onto the Shaman, then I kind of just get a big setup on him with the Glacial Spike. Ice Form, Frostbolt, we get this Trinket there. So like, okay, he has no Trinket. Uh, he probably has Wall back up, but you can't use Wall while stunned. So he has no Trinket. Let's try to 100 to OM next setup with a Hajj into Blood Elf Silence, and I can do that in 48 seconds once I have the Ice Form back up. Until then, I'm just doing max DPS onto the Feral while casting Frost Bolts. My pal is keeping me up. That's kind of like the name of the game here for twos. Um, I know it, it might seem a little, a little boring, but uh, I have a clip here uh, that is, is pretty freaking epic. Or a couple clips actually today that are pretty freaking epic as these games goes um, go on. So yeah, I, I, I might be getting um, some more of this Warlock T3. I'm really, really excited. I think it looks awesome. So I'll have the full Mage T3 set and the full Warlock T3 set eventually, I hope, um, in the future. But I got the Warlock T3 shoulders yesterday for like 50, 60k gold, I think, um, on the black market. And I was like so excited because they just look so freaking awesome. Especially on an orc, they actually do look pretty cool on an orc. So as you can see, I'm trying to go for a sheep here onto the shaman. I get hex totems. Um, my auto trinket gets me out of that. I'm still trying to get a, uh, a sheep here on the shaman, but he has no trinket for 40, 45 seconds here, as you can see on Gladius. Um, so as soon as I get that sheep, I really want to go ham off of it. So get the full sheep, and I call it to my pally. Let's do it. So my pally bops me. I pop ice form. I go for a max range flurry shatter combo to get the frost bolt uh, flurry shatter combo, and then I frost bolt um, into an ice nova for the huge 
one shot combo so that's that pretty awesome uh kill there onto the shaman very very difficult to actually win that game but we did get a nice one shot onto him but yeah the 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 main thing at the end there is that pally bought me so i couldn't get kicked and i actually blinked away so that i was 20 plus yards away so i could actually frostbolt flurry shatter combo you guys can rewatch it if you want but if i didn't blink away that guy wouldn't have died because the flurry wouldn't have crit the frostbolt so pro tip there blink away to get 20 yards away from the guy first before you shatter combo and you can blink while casting as well so here we're fighting a double shaman and i was very 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 sad when we went into this game i was like oh double shaman um i was actually queuing double shaman at threes earlier this day so i was like man it's karma i was queuing double shaman and it's karma and i'm going to show you guys a game of double shaman here in a second but uh <laughs> Playing double shaman, fight a double shaman. A double shaman, if you guys didn't know, is a mage. It's like one of the hardest things you can fight is because they have two, uh, you know, wind shears. They have a grounding, hex totems. Just, they're just shamans. And mages just get countered by shamans. So it's just so hard. Anyways, trying to do setups here. Um, kind of like the same as last game onto the resto shaman. But it's going to be much harder because there's a hex, there's a shear, there's off heals from the enhance. Like there's so much that can actually prevent me from doing uh, this setup. I blink away from the cap here, just getting more damage off on the enhance. And I'm I'm actually just sad. I'm just like, double shaman, really? You know, it's 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 not good, but, but that's okay. Blink away from the cap again, going for another setup here on the shaman. But as you can see, it's very, very difficult to actually sheep this guy. He's just running around the pillar, wind shears, groundings, whatever. Um, I, I do, uh, want to uh well, well so, okay so we get the sheep so i'm trying to go for a setup here and as you guys can see it kind of gets stopped in a second yeah i get sheared on my resheep um i go for a glacial spike it doesn't it doesn't crit that hard and i it's kind of just a failed setup um you know still good to do even though they're failed setups but yeah i did want you guys to let you guys know that i should be killing these wind fury totems um as much as possible but they only have a range i think of <sighs> might be wrong 10 or 15 yards um so if you can't kill the wind free totem as long as you move away from it like i did here that's completely fine as well so you either kill the wind free totem or just move away from it um and that's pretty cool uh if you don't then you're going to take a lot of increased damage from that wind fury totem if you're just standing in the wind fury totem it's never never good to do that so yeah the game uh, keeps going on so yeah today i'm just going to be let's see it's it's a little after 4 p.m for me i'm going to be going to the gym hitting what am I hitting at the gym today? I think I'm hitting chest today. It's actually chest day, so you guys know how it goes. Just gonna be hitting some bench press, some inclines, some flies, whatever. Um, gonna be working out the chest. Gonna be working on this video for a while, and then I go in live here on the stream tonight. So I'll see you guys on the stream tonight. If you guys do tune in, make sure to say hi, uh, whatever. Always like hearing from you guys. But yeah, let's see if I can get a sheep here on this resto shaman to go for a big shatter combo on him. Um, someday someday maybe okay i'm not really going for it now just doing glacial spike damage and uh every time you do get a glacial guys it's really good to just cast the glacial so you can cast frost bolts into the glacial so you can get bigger frost bolts to then get a bigger glacial um so i'm doing a little bit of a different strategy here i get wall from the from the enhance and that i don't know if it's really good to do that because we did a hodge onto the rest of shaman into a sheep kind of did some damage onto the enhance and got his wall out but as far as winning a long game where we're slowly killing the enhance like we're not really going to win that type of a matchup where we're you know ccing and killing so that's why it's not very good to do that we do overlap posh and sheep there we are kind of laughing about it in the call um but that's okay <laughs> was, uh whatever we, we were like we were yelling at each other right there for that uh that overlap but anyways i get hex my auto shrinking goes off uh getting a couple different couple of good crits here so i have a pretty nice glacial um from these icicles just getting up more and more damage i'm trying to get a sheep onto the arshan but it's very very difficult uh frost bolting this guy um and then yeah watch this and but we have to go healer want to go healer right now uh switching it switching it yeah. go just go just go just yeah, i did i did, I did. go Go! Yeah, bitch! Go! Yeah, bitch! Go! 
Josh. You're actually bad, Josh. You're actually bad, Josh. You're actually bad, Josh. You're actually bad, Josh. Josh. Tune into the stream, baby. It's fucking live. Uh, bye, Dad. Oh bye, Fry. Bye, bye, die, Fry. Hi. Good night. Die. Yeah. Get fucking wrapped. 2100 yeah, double shaman team. So as you guys can see, that <laughs> maybe a little overreaction, but it was very, very fun. A crazy, crazy burst kill there out of that sheep, and that's pretty much what we're going for. I had a lot of fun doing it last night. I thought you guys would enjoy that game. But here is the double shaman game that I was talking about from earlier, and these games were also freaking hilarious. So what we are doing here is going for double Sky Fury setups. And Sky Fury, if you guys don't know, is 30% increased critical strike damage. But when you're running with two shamans, you can have two Sky Furies, which is 60% increased crit damage. And if you guys didn't know, Chaos Bolt is always a critical strike. So basically I'm playing a Destro Warlock and a double shaman setup here, where we're basically going for a nice setup into double Sky Fury Totem into two Chaos Bolts to one shot the guy. Um, we had so much fun queuing this last night. We actually got up to like, at one point like 25, 2600 MMR because we were just one shotting kids over and over. And it was, it was pretty, it was, it was a blast. But anyways, um, Hitting the Pharaoh a little bit right here, trying to purge that Earth Shield. The Pharaoh runs, so my, my, my guy calls out to go on Priest. Um, kill that Psy Fiend. Drop the Sky Fury and two Chaos Bolts in the air. Curse Fragility. Guy dies through Dispersion. Boom. That's a one shot. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed all these games. Double Shaman, some Mage games. Thumbs the video up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see for next time. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.